Okay, I'm going to try to answer a question or do a tutorial based on a question that a viewer asked. As you notice, my Blender tutorials lately have had a new little intro, and uh, someone asked uh, for a tutorial on how to do that. It's actually quite simple, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, first off, let's do a Google search. We'll say free fonts and pick out a font we want for our text. Here's uh, one right here. It says 1001 free fonts, and we'll pick one. Ooh, that looks like a fun one. I want to find something that's easy to read because the uh, intro is going to go pretty fast. This is the one that I use for my Blender. This Foo is for my Blender 2.5 tutorials is what I'm using. Uh, my Blender 2.4, I'm just using the default font that Blender uses. Let's use this uh, Mail Race stuff. I'm going to choose Windows Download. That's going to give me a true type font, which is uh, easily uh, used in Linux. And uh, close my download window here. Here's the font. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop now, and it's extracted to my desktop, and we'll grab that in a moment here. Minimize that. Okay, we're in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.49 for this. Um, we're going to delete default cube. So let's select it. Delete default cube. I'm going to hit uh, spacebar, add mesh plane, and I'm going to scale that up pretty big. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hit split and split this window up. If you're not getting this, just go to my uh, Blender Basic Tutorials on my website, filmstarchris.com. Down on the left-hand side, there's a bunch of Blender Tutorials, and one says Basics, and it's a bunch of Basics videos. I'm going to go in top view here, front view here, camera view here. Once again, if you don't know how to do that, it's the number pad buttons. Just watch my Basic videos. I'm going to press Z to make those transparent on the side there. And now in the top view here, I'm going to simply click Spacebar, add mesh or add a uh, text right there I like to click center down here in our edit window which is F9 down here so the text is centered we'll hit tab to edit it and we'll say this is blender 3d speed models and I'll hit tab to get out of edit mode we'll click extrude once or twice Right here we have load fonts. I'm going to load the font. I'm going to go to my desktop where I saved that true type font to. Desktop. It's mail rays. Select. There it is. Uh, and um, I'm going to click package so it saves it in the Blender file. Makes your Blender file a little bit bigger, just slightly. Uh, font files aren't that big, but that way if I ever lose the TTF file, I can still work with this file and the, the font saved in there. Uh, at this point, we can hit F12 and get a quick little render look at this. Hey, looking nice. Uh, the background is blue. I'm going to change that. Go to uh, F5 shading window over here to the little globe for our world button. Click here and just choose black. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the lamp here. And it's a lamp is the light source. I'm going to change that to a spotlight. I'm going to grab it and move it and rotate it a little bit around. And right here we have um, basically a little preview over here in this box. I'm going to show you. I'm going to move this up and it makes the light more of a feathered around the edge. You can see how it is on here. I'm going to move that back a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the front view. <laughs> Move it here, three on the other pad to get the side view. I'm going to grab it like so, rotate it up. That's F12. I think I'm going to scale it down some. It's not exactly centered on our font, uh, our text. So let's, uh, let's scale this down our outer circle there we go it's more of a spotlight now it's it was kind of a wide earlier rotate it up hit f12 let's see how that looks kind dark i am going to make one change here i'm going to go um into our world button and we're going to choose ambient occlusions and hit F12. This will slow down your rendering a whole lot, but give it, I don't know how to describe it. Um, 
basically, I, I guess it's it's reflecting uh, the light off other areas, so you get a lot nicer shading this way. And as you can see, it slows down your rendering a whole lot, but gives everything a, a neater look or feel to it. So that's looking good. I'm going to stop that render. I'm also going to go to my rendering options. I'm going to choose NTSC since that's the form I'm going to use it. Make it slightly smaller than the default and which will also make it render faster. Uh, there's other things you can do to make it render faster but uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. So we have that little thing there. I'm going to choose that. Hit Shift D to clone it. I'm going to drag it over here. R to rotate. I'm going to rotate it around like so. And I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to type models by metal x1000. That's me. Okay, let's uh, rotate our camera view around here. Grab it, pull it back and have a look at this. Actually, I should be creating my keyframes as we go. So actually, I'm going to hit Escape and hit Control-Z to undo. And I'm going to hit Up Arrow till I get to frame 31. And that's going to be one second door animation. I'm going to hit uh, I for locking a keyframe. I'm going to do Location, Rotation, and Scale. I'm going to hit shift down arrow brings us to our first frame. I'm going to grab my camera, I'm going to move it, and this is basically the same animation I did before in the other intros. And we're going to put it right about, where do I want it? There, okay. I'm going to hit I and lock a keyframe there. Now I'm going to hit up arrow twice to get to uh, frame 21. going to rotate it and in the front view or a side view here I'm going to grab it and bring it down. That's going to give us, lock, lock it in there, a nice little sweeping action that's going to go real fast across the words then pan out. Now I'm going to go up one, two, three. Actually I'm just going to go up 20 frames. So we're at frame 51 now. And I'm just going to give the camera a slight movement here. making sure to keep our text in frame. Okay, I'm going to hit I to lock in that keyframe. And this, this intro is kind of fast, so I mean we're going to be looking at the words for like about a second or so. So um, actually I might hold this out a little bit longer. I'm going to add another keyframe. I can always speed it up in Caden Live when I go to edit the video later. Okay, so there's our first second and a half almost of our video. I'm going to also go back down to the first frame and set a keyframe for the light source. I'm going to go up 20 frames. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. Let's see, rotate a little bit this way, lock keyframe, go up another 20 frames, rotate back, just getting a little bit of the camera light moving back and forth. Let me move the camera light up, make sure it stays on the words though. Three, okay. So here I am going to now rotate my camera around like we started to do earlier. It's about there. I'll set a keyframe in. Wait, no, let's get a little more centered there. I keep on looking at one camera view while I'm moving in another. That's why it's confusing me. Okay, rotate that down. Grab it over. Everything is always harder when you're trying to explain it while you're doing it. Okay.
Okay, so I was talking real slow and this tutorial took a little bit longer than it should have, so I had to cut it in half and put it in two, 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 two different videos. Uh, be sure to watch the second half right here. Click the link right there. Should, should be right there if I remember to put the annotation, hopefully. Come on, you want, you want to see how this ends, right? Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.